What, tell people what is Betterment. Let's start there. So Betterment is an automated investing service. We're the largest and fastest growing in the country. Uh, we've got 49,000 customers today and, uh, and growing. What we do is we take your money for you, we manage it for you for tax efficiency, rebalancing, all of those kinds of things to get you a better return and hopefully leave you with more money to spend on holiday gifts. Okay, well, if you're going to be making the whole holiday gift experience happen, what are some of the tips? Start with the first one, which is what? You've got to make a budget? Start with a budget. I'm not talking about that hassle of a budget where you, you know, have to write down every single thing that you spend on and save on coffee and this and that. But have a plan. So the average American this year is going to spend about $800 on the holiday gifts. That seems like an incredible number to me. I don't spend that much money on, on, on holiday gifts. But what I do is I make a plan and I figure out exactly what I'm going to get for each person before I go to the store. That way you don't just show up and start spending money on whatever shiny object catches your eye, either in the store or online, as often happens to us. All right. So, so you got to so make the budget, right? You got to have a plan. All right. But then you say you've got, you should set aside the money and do that now don't like set aside that money the day before you go make the purchase a sure way to get yourself into a hole is to start spending on credit cards and then not pay those off immediately so it's okay to put everything on credit cards just pay it off and that means saving you can save automatically with a site like betterment and there are other ways to save automatically but have that set aside for you okay what about giving cash what about actually gifting money Everyone loves cash. Cash is great. When I was a kid, uh, I always wanted a, a Disney stock. I, I, my parents mentioned this at some point and said, hey, we should get you that. And every year I'd say, that'd be great to get me. I never got that Disney stock. See, and you should have gotten it. I was going to say, you should have gotten those shares of Disney. That would have been pretty good. Them. Yeah. All right. So, but you think it'd be in, in addition to giving cash, give stock for things like education and, and so on. It's a great way to educate kids about the importance of saving. And man, the compounding over those first 18 years of life is a lot. Okay. Now, let's say that you've decided decided that maybe the gifting is great, but you'd like a little vacation yourself. So a lot of people travel, and this is one of the biggest sources of expense around the holidays, is you're going to go visit the in-laws or whatever. Book that travel now. It's already almost too late if you're planning on traveling around the holidays, especially if you're going somewhere away. Another thing to think about is to travel after the holidays. It's much cheaper. There's less hassle, uh, and you can spend time with, with people. My wife and I aren't getting each other gifts this year. We're giving ourselves a vacation after Christmas. And so that means do it now. Don't wait until after Thanksgiving. I mean, this should be something that you do at least a month in advance. That's right. Plan ahead, and you get much better fares that way. All right. What about getting things like warranties and... No. You never need the warranty. The warranty is usually duplicated by the product warranty. The store is trying to upsell you on, on, on that extra warranty. Avoid at all costs. All right. Well done. And uh, congratulations, Betterment, right? You'll help us all manage our money.